Hello, everybody. Welcome to this call tonight. Hi, someone is waving. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to this call tonight with a very interesting title, or maybe it's only interesting to me. I don't know. Let's see. Um, the title is... Wait, what's the title? <laughs> this... This is something that always happened to me. Whenever I want to start a call, I'm like, welcome to, uh, 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 what's the title? All right, let me look at it again. Okay, still letting entities overpower you. Um, so why am I uh, doing a Zoom call, a Zoom video conference about this topic? All right, so uh, welcome everybody. So for some of you, um, you may have done, for example, the talk to entities class, beginning class, or some of you, you have even done something even more advanced. And of, of course, there will also be some of you that are very new to, let's say, access. Um, so if you are new to access, um, just bear with me. Uh, I'm not sure how this will apply to you. But if you have been doing access and attending classes um, a lot, okay, or more, uh, you know what is this thing called the entities and how often you hear someone that could include your best friend and that could also include yourself. Um, when you have a problem in life, the first thing that you go to is, is it the entity? Okay, so now it, in Access, we talk a lot about asking questions to get awareness. And I can see that there are quite a few facilitators here. So all of you are very welcome. Um, so you, we all know that ask a question, you ask a question and then you get awareness. But if you ask, is that entity? Is that really asking a question? Or is that you have the conclusion that the entities are wrong, are bad, they are evil, they are doing something to harm you, to create damage in your life. And then with this conclusion, you throw it out as, and then put a question mark. Okay, so now this doesn't, this, I believe this sounds quite familiar to you all. Like, I, I don't mean that only people in India do this. Like, it's quite universal. A lot of people do that. Um, so, but now I want you all to, so you understand what I'm saying now. So I want you all to look deeper down underneath this situation of thinking it's all the entities. Okay, so if you think, an entity could do something terrible to you with this point of view, okay? Are you giving the entities more power? Okay, now I can feel that some of you should check out when I say this. So pull yourself back. Okay, I hope I can just reach to you through my webcam and then grab you back here. All right, everyone. Okay, do your best to stay in present. Okay, so when you have... If you ask a real question, great, that's not a problem. But if you function from this doubt, this fear, this reaction, is it because of entity? Are you giving power to entities? Okay, now, do you notice that when I say, are you giving power to entities? Some of you check out again. Suddenly, I could feel like zoop, some people just go away. So, um, and for tonight, the, the title is not just about entities. The entities is the main thing. Um, I will tell you why, uh, because this is what I noticed. Um, but we also give power to so many other things. Okay, so many other people, and also a lot of things that are not really a thing, like for example, the culture. Okay, so um, so I'm now in Mumbai. So tomorrow I'm starting the TTT intermediate class, which I believe a lot of you. Rashi is like, yeah. <laughs> Rashi is like, finally, I'm not avoiding it. <laughs> oh, sorry, Rashi. I shouldn't say that out loud. <laughs> and it's being recorded. My bad. <laughs> so, okay, everyone, just pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> okay. So, um, I mean, so I'm now in Mumbai. So I'm getting ready for the class tomorrow. And let me tell you my experience so far with creating classes in India. So I've been to India quite many times. And then, so for the last three years, I didn't come here because of the COVID lockdown and whatever funny thing. Um, so now I'm in, so I went to Delhi. And then after that, I went to Bangalore. I did 
a few classes there. I did two classes there and then now I'm in Mumbai. So when I was in Bangalore, I did a class called Money Entity. So it's a class about entity. And when I'm here, I'm doing another class about entity. And it just keep giving me a feeling of it's very hard to create. Now, I'm not saying that my hosts, they are terrible. I know they will think that way. <laughs> okay, what I mean is, I myself, I look at the overall energy, like, okay, what's going on here? And there's one thing that I think it's easier for me is because of I'm not from the same culture. I'm not used to this. Okay, so if you have been here every day since day one on earth, okay, this is an energy that you are used to. Okay, so when you are so used to it, you'll be like, no, I don't, I don't sense anything unusual or anything wrong or anything different. But for me, so this is also the first time I'm in India for like more than two weeks. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could I could feel that kind of energy. So how many things which include entities have you given your power to to them and allow those things to limit you? If you never give power to wow, okay, so everything that brings up that has like all sort of energy coming out. Everything that brings up, let's destroy and create that, please. Run wrong, good and bad, power and power, power nine shots, boys, poets, and beyond. Okay, let me use an easier example. Okay, I mean, it might not be that easy, but I hope it's easy. So, let's say if someone is judging you harshly, very strongly, intensely, okay, is that person actually powerful? Okay, the correct answer should be shaking your head. Oh, I don't know how, how, how do you all do that? How do you say no? <laughs> okay. Um, but how often you give power to people that judge you strongly. When someone judge, like when someone is being so judgmental, we just automatically assume that person has power. Okay. And so with this point of view, you're actually giving them power. And the more you give them power, power the more they can limit you. So it's not that something else outside of us that is limiting us, stopping us from choosing something. You have to look the, look at the energy from the very beginning. Look at the point of creation. It's actually you give power to something else. Okay. The family, for example, the culture, okay, the entities, the spirit world, and so many other things. Some definable, some are undefinable. And then now you feel like I, I just can't do much. Okay. So yeah, include mentors and teachers. Okay, yes, they do have something that they can share with you and maybe to make your life greater. Okay, some, okay, or, well, depends. Okay, some, some mentors, some teachers. Yeah, but even though they are mentors and teachers or facilitators, who said you have to mix them more powerful than you? Okay, so this is something that I noticed and that's why I want to do this Zoom tonight to talk about it. Even though if we don't change it completely, at least you get the idea so that once you have this idea in your universe, it's like planting a seed. You will, you will start to see things differently. You start to notice more of this, okay? So, or maybe from this moment onward, okay, whenever you listen to this, okay, maybe sometimes in the future, whenever you feel like you cannot do something, you cannot choose something, maybe you ask yourself, okay, what have I made more powerful than me here? Who or what have I made more powerful than me here that keeps me from making this choice? Mm -hmm. Everything that brings up times a gazillion, we now please destroy and uncreate. Run wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. Now, I'm doing my best to explain this to you. Um, Yes, I, I do want to invite you, a lot of you, if you have the prereq to the TTT intermediate class that is starting tomorrow. But even though you don't have the prereq or if you are not interested in the class, that's fine. Well, I really want to point out one thing is, as soon as I touch on the topic of giving power away, like a lot of you check out, you are, you are still listening to me, you're like, blah, 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 like not really getting what I'm saying. <laughs> 
And then when I say, all right, so um, get your power back, and then a lot of you check out again. Okay, so how much of your energy are you using to avoid your own power and potency? That's how... Because you okay, you see, if you never avoid your own power and potency, you fully claim, own, and acknowledge your power and potency. Could anyone stop you? Could anything stop you? Could you change anything and everything? But how often the thing that you avoid is your power? Okay, and this could sound like a even though I don't sound like, <laughs> but this could sound like an intense conversation because this is. For you to look at what you have been avoiding for so long, and when I say so long, I don't even mean just this lifetime that you have an Indian body, you, you were born in India. I mean, like, I mean, many different cultures, people do it, do, do this in so many different ways. And so for how many lifetimes have you been avoiding your power and potency? Everything that is, I, I like the, the look on Rashi's face. I hope I can spotlight her. You know, she would be like, you know, seeing the wow without without making sound. And <laughs> oh, by the way, Rashi is uh, one of the hosts for the class that I'm doing in Mumbai. So uh, she's like, wow. and it's, I, I can hear, I can feel like that's the mind drop moment. Like, okay, so for how many lifetimes have you been avoiding your own power and potency? Mic drop. Okay, everything that brings up comes to Godzilla. You know, please destroy and uncreate. Thank you. Run, wrong, good and bad, talk and power. All oh, nine shots, boys, progress and beyond. Do you notice that this time the energy is greater? I mean, when I say greater, I mean like you avoid less. For the first few times when I say like, for how many lifetimes have you been, have you been avoiding your power and potency? You're like, now when I say, for how many lifetimes have you been avoiding your power and potency? See, now you, you're like, oh yeah, I hear you. You have that like, yes, I got it. Great. So everything that brings up times a gazillion will now please destroy and uncreate. Right, wrong, good and bad, pog and pot, all nine shots, boys, poverts and beyonds. Um, I changed my mind for tonight. I, I'm not going to take any question. Um, at, before we started the recording, I said I want to take questions, but I guess I don't want to take any question. I want to keep it about this conversation. So the one that raised your hand, thank you. But I'm sorry, I'm not taking question tonight. Um, but I will go with the energy so that you have this, this content, this conversation very clearly that I will be uploading to my YouTube later so that if you want to rewatch, you can rewatch and share it with whoever that hit their own power. If you know some friends that hit their own power and potency, they keep running away from their own power and potency, share it to them, torture them. <laughs> Just like how I torture you all now. All right, so... For how many lifetimes have you been avoiding your own power and potency? Everything that is times a gazillion will now please destroy and uncreate. And how many, how often, like, I think you have heard about this thing called the presumptive realities. Like, the presumptive reality is that if you are not that powerful, people around you feel more comfortable. If you are so powerful, people around you, they'll be like, <laughs> you are a little bit too scary. You are very direct. Oh, yeah. I think I have to mention Rashi tonight for a few times. I don't know why. Rashi said to me, like, Ryan, I think you are too direct. She said that to me a few days ago. <laughs> but hey, this is me, okay? I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. So for how many lifetimes have you been avoiding your own power and potency with the presumptive reality of Otherwise, you will upset someone, you will offend someone, people are not going to feel comfortable, people are going to leave you, people are going to judge you behind you. Yeah, screw those people, who cares? Everything that brings up tons of Godzilla. See, that's how direct I am. Will you please destroy and uncreate? Right, wrong, good and bad, punk and pot, all oh, nice shots, boys, perverse, and beyond. Are you guys, are you all enjoying my directness so far? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. I like this. Okay. Wow, okay, cool. Um, let me see, the energy is just so intense and so strong. I've run it like four or five times, but it's still so much energy. And I'm not saying that if I do it like another 30 times, we can get over this. I hope we can, but let's be realistic here because this is something that we have been doing so for way too many lifetimes, for way too long, blah, blah, blah. All right, so you need to like 
change this whenever you get a chance. So maybe you can write this down, run it as a clearing for yourself. Okay. So for how many lifetimes have you been avoiding your own power and potency? And how many presumptive realities do you have that keeps you avoiding your own power and potency? Everything that is times a godzillion. I don't even know why I'm going to do this Zoom tonight, you know, like, but I just sense it. Um, but okay, let me clear this first. So everything that brings out, let's destroy and create. Right and wrong, good and bad, program part, all nine shots, boys, poets and meals. So this Zoom, it was just announced about two, three hours before. So um, we have been creating classes, creating the energy of this class, inviting people for the last, I don't know, two, two weeks, one week, whatever. Um, so when I, so I can honestly tell you this class, so I don't know how many people have signed up. It's a very small class that if this class, no, not if this class will go on tomorrow, it will definitely go on. But the number of participants that I have right now is the smallest TTT class I've ever done. Okay. And again, I'm not saying this to make my host feel bad, but I know they will. <laughs> now, I'm going to do this anyway because I know this is required. Okay, I'm doing it based on what I know this, this is required. So um, a few hours ago, um, oh, finally now I can mention the other host. Okay, Palak, Palak is the other host. So um, Palak was asking me like, okay, Ryan, can you do this? I don't even remember what she asked me to do. Like, can you do this? I'm like, nah, I'm not so sure because I've, it seems to me that I've tried everything. But one thing that I kept sensing a lot, which is why I really want to do this Zoom tonight is, I kept sensing the energy of like, you just, just give up, just give up, just give up, just give up, just give up. And then, okay, you see, when I say just give up, just give up, just give up, how many of you, you, even though this is not the reality you would like to have, but it feels familiar. It has that energy like, eh, okay. It's like, okay, it's okay to feel. I don't need to work so hard, blah, 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 blah. So when it's, no, Palak, I'm not saying you are, you are, you are, you are having anything wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Palak is amazing. Okay. If you guys, if you have seen the graphic that she made, it's really every time when I see it, I'm like, wow. Okay, so thank you, Palak. Um so because of this is something very unusual for me. I've I, in my normal life, I don't have this thing like this. I will be like, no, I'm not going to give up. I will create, I will not hold myself back. You see, even when I say I will not hold myself back, how many of you you have this reality? Or your normal reality, I mean, it's not that this is something that works for you, but it's like your normal life, most, most people, they hold themselves back. So I was in that energy of like, eh, I cannot do anything. I cannot do. But and then I get more and more awareness like, eh, okay, this is so not me. I'm not going to let this defeat me. I'm going to do whatever I can. So this is why in Access we talk about that. Never give up, never give in, and never quit. Okay, so this is what I want to do. This Zoom, whether you join the class or not, that's a different story. But I want you to get this. Like, how many things have you made more powerful than you? And where and when and how and why have you given your power and potency away and avoid your own power and potency? That's why now you feel like everything is so hard, everything is so difficult. You cannot create, you cannot change. You have to, like, accept life as what it is. Accept your destiny or something like that. Everything that brings up comes a Godzilla. We are now please destroy and uncreate. Right, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all oh, nine shots, boys, poets and beyonds. Okay, so I truly hope this Zoom will contribute to a lot of you to, I don't even know what's the right metaphor for this. It's like wake up from all these lies and all those things that want you to give up and go back to normal life. Okay, screw that. So, but, so that's why I said, if you are new to access, this might be something that maybe doesn't make sense to you or whatever. All right. But for those of you that have been doing access for a while or a lot, you know what I'm saying. Okay. So, so all the reasons, all the presumptive realities that make you give up your power and potency and then creating a life that you have no idea how to change something or how to create something. It's like feeling stuck. Yes, you can identify the feeling stuck, but then at the same time, feels so hard to actually change it. How many presumptive realities do you have here to make you 
not able to change what you truly desire to change. Let's destroy and of that, please. Run, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys, progress and beyonds. Okay. Wow. Whew. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I changed my mind one more time. I'm going to take a question. <laughs> if anyone has something that you would like to ask, uh, but I may have to see what's the question. I may not take everything because I really want to make this Zoom, this video when I upload to YouTube really about talking about where we give up our power. I don't want to answer some other things. Okay, Ruchika, I'm going to let you unmute. And hopefully if you would show yourself, that would be better, but not required. Up to you. Uh, hi, Ryan. How are you? I'm awesome, as usual. Yeah. Oh, I can see you now. Great. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know if it's the right place, but uh, I would uh, appreciate if you touch upon a bit of your X-Men. If you can talk a little bit about your X-Men class. If it's not... Okay to talk here, you can let me know. Um, I will talk about X-Men class. Thank you for asking. Okay. Cool. Um, so I have three classes that I'm going to do here. Uh, so the first one is the TTT Intermediate. This one has higher prereq. You need to have done the foundation or uh, TTT beginning within 12 months. <clears throat> so that's tomorrow. Um, so see, I'm not going to just teach you some tools and techniques to deal with entities, or should I say cope with? Most people, they are coping with the entities world. Okay. Oh, no, the TTT intermediate is now only online. It's, it won't be live anymore. Okay, we, we change it to only online. So um, if you are using tools to cope with, let's say, the entities, what, whatever they are doing to you, okay? That is not really creating change. But yes, when you first attend the TTT beginning class, you learn some tools to cope with something else. But in the intermediate level, we are not going to just cope with stuff. We have to, we have to look at what's the real energy behind all this insanity, all this drama and trauma, and really change them. Okay, so that's the TTT intermediate class. It comes with a manual. Uh, you get a lot of tools and it makes you way more powerful. It really makes you way more powerful. And then on the next day, so that's, okay, so tomorrow is Friday. TTTE Intermediate is Friday. On the Saturday, I'm going to do the X-Men one day class and then followed by the introducing the symphony. So for the X-Men one day class, um, it's called the Undiscovered Possibility. Okay, so... <clears throat> When you have something so different, okay, you have to ask yourself, has your difference ever been received by others? Or is it that most people, if not everyone, like from family members to parents, to friends, to school teachers, blah, 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 like just you, okay? Is this world supporting you to be as different as you are, to be who you really are? Or is this world about training you to be normal? And wow, everything that brings up that has like an explosion of energy here. Let's this try and create it all, please. <sighs> Ryan, wrong, good and bad. Pop and pot, all nine shots, boys, boys and beyonds. Okay, let's look at the energy one more time. So is this world to is this world supporting you to be who you really are and as different as you really are? Or is this world everything like the society, the structure of this world right now is about training you to be normal. Training and entraining and brainwashing you to be normal. And just by saying the word brainwashing, it brings up even more energy. Brainwashing, 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 brainwashing. How have you been brainwashed to have the need to be normal in order to avoid judgment? Everything that is times a gazillion will now please destroy and uncreate. Run, wrong, good and bad, pop and pot, all nine shots, boys, poets and beyonds. So in a world that whenever you show your difference, you are going to attract so many judgments. People look at you like judgments could be verbally out loud and also non-verbally. 
Okay, it's not just verbally. How often you have someone judge you, but they say they didn't, but you definitely know that they did. Okay, so and usually it's those <clears throat> non-verbal judgment that I would say they stick us the, the most. Because if someone judge you out loud, you have the evidence like, yes, I know this person judged me. I can pop and pop that judgment that I align agree with. But if someone judge you energetically and non-verbally, but you are still sensing the energy. So someone didn't say it directly in front of your, of your face to you, but you suddenly feel so heavy because you still sense that judgment and then you bought into it. But now here's the problem. You don't have a proof. You're like, uh, I don't think it's someone else's judgment because that person could act like, okay, I'm a very polite person. I'm a very nice person. So your mind will be saying, no, it's not those people judging you. Now you are stuck with some heaviness that you have no idea what they are because you don't have the clear awareness that it's actually someone else's judgments for you being so different that you have a line and agree with. Okay, so for... for Okay, so the one thing about the X-Men class that a lot of people don't get is that they, they think um, is the X-Men class only for the special children or only for people that um, they are taking care of the special children. For example, let's say if you are a parent, okay, if you have special kids or if you are a teacher, you are dealing with special kids. No, it's not about that. Um, yes, we do talk a lot about the ADD, ADHD, OCD, and autism, so on and so forth. But those things are actually power. Those things are actually superpower that no one understands. And when no one understands it and everyone is judging that as wrong, you bought into all those judgments, then you now you have to keep avoiding that part of you that is really strong. So when you avoid your magic, your abilities, blah, 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 so and so forth, now you have a lot of undiscovered possibility. Okay, so how many undiscovered possibilities do you have? If you Could you reclaim back if you stop aligning and agreeing with everyone else's judgment? Okay, so that, I would say that's the main energy, that's the main intention of the class, the X-Men class. Okay, so, and the prereq is only access bus. All right, so I hope I give you good explanation. I think I gave you too much explanation, but hey, who cares? <laughs> um, so, and then I guess I want to leave you all with one question for tonight. Um, I'm, I'm not going to make this Zoom too long. Um, throw your mind away. Don't use your mind. Um, and just ask yourself this. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to ask you and then see what shows up. You don't need any evidence. You don't need any reason to support the awareness you get if it's a yes it's a yes if it's a no it's a no okay so truth are you an x-man all right so that's the only thing i want to ask oh yeah i, I will take one last question uh so natalia hang on let me give you the option to unmute all right Right. Hi. Uh, hi, Ryan and everyone. Nice to meet you. I mean, like for the first time, I'm first time in your Zoom call. And I wanted to ask you. Regret? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you uh, more about the power because um, how to actually reclaim your power when this reality of lies of being miserable and powerless and this victimhood has become uh something like a reference point and something familiar to to me for example and from a lot of people probably unfortunately this is way too big for me to answer right now it's not that i don't want to answer but i mean logically i think everyone can understand there's no way i can like do my magic and then everyone clear the power in like five yeah. minutes i hope i can but there's no such way mm -hmm. but one thing that i can point out is you, the way you say it, if you re, re listen to this or rewatch this later, um, say, look at yourself how you say it. You are using this reality as the reason of why you cannot choose something because you already made this reality powerful. You have already made this reality greater than you. Okay. Okay. Every time if you say because of blah, 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 
this is where you, if you catch yourself saying that or even thinking about it, you're like, oh yeah, I cannot because my mom, because the society, because this reality, because whatever. This is a good place to start for you to realize, okay, wow, I've made this reality so significant and so powerful. That's why I keep using it. So please hear my word. It's not that it is limiting you, but you keep using it to limit you. Mm -hmm. Does that make any sense? Yes, thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for your question. So that's why um, run the clearing that I gave just now. That I, now I don't remember it anymore, but it's something like where have you given up your power? Mm -hmm. Do that a lot more. This will be a good start. I guess maybe one day, someday, maybe I will do a clear clarity night about power and potency. I guess based on what we discovered tonight. This is so not in my plan. I don't get you all here to sell you the next class, but I see it as like, this is so required. So maybe one day. And I'm sure Palak or Rashi will let you all know. Um, yeah. Thank you. And, thank you. And I have created a WhatsApp community um, last week. I don't, before last week, I have not even heard of this thing called WhatsApp community, but now I have one. Um, if you know someone um, might be interested in receiving more updates from me about whatever I'm doing, uh, please invite those people to the community so that um, I can invite more people to more possibilities. All right. So thank you all for your time tonight. And I hope this contributes to you. And I hope to see some of you in some classes or see you in person in some classes. Come and say hello to me. Okay. Because... Um, about 10 years ago when I was in Delhi, I was in the advanced body class. There were so many people came to me like, oh yeah, I saw you on YouTube. Like, you know, so I, I will always be very grateful for that. All right. So that's all for now. Thank you, everyone. Good night. Bye-bye. Take care. And for classes, for the classes in Mumbai this weekend, please contact Palak and Rashi. Okay, cool. Bye.